What's up, guys? It's me, Roz Munchausen. And I know it's been a little while since I've done an upload, and I'm sorry for that. I've been really busy with uh, college stuff and trying to find a house with my friends. And you know, I also got a new pair of glasses because I'm practically I'm practically blind, so I'm sorry about that. I know it's been about two weeks since my last upload. Um, I'm going to try and upload things more um, regularly now, trying to get myself on a schedule. <laughs> so yeah, I apologize for that. But um, anyway, just going to talk about it a little bit, you know, because as you guys know, like two weeks ago, last week, whenever it was, about two weeks, KOF basically had a boom, like on the 27th, I believe, or 25th, I don't remember. Because um, they're putting video after video up, and it was so much, man. And I actually came close to the point of breaking down and crying like two times. So you know, it's it's been really huge for KOF in April, and now we're going to May. We haven't seen any new videos yet in May, but there have been new types of leaks. I remember one of the videos people were telling me about the uh, Leaf DLC list that had so many characters such as Vanessa, Vanessa, Whip, um, Grizzolid, Shingo, Bao, all these characters, and now there's a new one out too. Um, that features more characters, but also features. <clears throat> but it also features Omega Regal. Now, I don't know if these leak lists are true, but I'm gonna put. I'm gonna say 50 50 50 of it being true or false. That's my thing, cause. I mean, for the Leech roster, I believe it was true, just with the animations and all. But, um, the Leech roster turned out to be true in this case, and we've seen every character in the game that we've seen on that list. Now, the DLC, people may be skeptical about, but it could be true, and if Omega Rugal is going to be DLC, possibly, then that means that since this is a canon game, it means that he's officially come back to life. <laughs> so I can imagine the joy that so many people will have to spam him. And, oh god. So I'm both looking forward to that and I'll look forward to it if it's true. You also found out that, you know, the China team is also the new hero team. Because Shunei is basically the hero of this story. Now please, SNK fans, please Kayla fans, don't hit on this new young hero like what happened with Ash Crimson to the point where they killed him off at the end of the saga. Please do not do this with Shune, because Shune looks pretty cool. And I love Ash, I, honestly, like he was so different. But please, do not hate on Shune. You, you just might end up liking him. Do not hate on him because I want to see him live <laughs> into more sagas, please. But, um, yeah, so the China team is not the new hero team, which should make sense with <coughs> Tom Fu Ray training these two new younger kids. And since he basically trains heroes, with the exception of Lee Sauer, since he trained him. Yeah. <coughs> I just, I can't wait to I just can't wait to see what's going to come up, what's going to be in the game, and everything else, and I need some better light, so give me a second. Alright, that's much better. But, um, yeah, so it's just, it's just been really a big day for, um, 
It's just been really a big, big year so far if, for the past few months for KOF, and I'm just looking forward to it. <laughs> and also, um, I found something else interesting. This time about Kukri that I shared with, that I shared on Facebook in a private message. That you can only get if you go through this Psycho Soldier team ending again in KOF 11. But um, if you were to look to the far, it would be your left if you're playing the game. But if you look to the far left, which we consider Ron's right, you would see a bandaged up character with a long ponytail and so forth and so on. That you would guess, that you could probably guess would probably be Kukri. Which means that Kukri may have dealings with Ron. And that's not 100% fact. Um, I'm going to be doing that in the next... And one of the next theory videos that I do for kf 14 <laughs> So, we got that going on right there. And also, I saw all of their... The characters who were in the demo, I saw their special moves. So I saw Sylvie's ultimate HDMS... HDSM and see so when I saw I was like this confirms that she is the daughter of Ignis because I'm not gonna do it I'm not doing another theory video on it though because I did three parts and I said the third part was gonna be the final one and that is but if you look at her special she gets surrounded by this like divine magic like uh, Ignis except Ignis had like symbols appear on the ground of divine magic and stuff divine power but she gets survived by this divine divine magic all these symbols pop up and such and it's like let the darkness you know so, something of the sort you see her go from like this goofy character to immediately like killer like her eyes open and she's like in this killer mode like right away and tries to wipe you out so yeah to me, that confirmed enough that she is the daughter of Ignis. And then, like, I, I just don't know. I just don't know what to expect now. Like, there's so much that's been going on, and I'm still just kind of, still kind of over the initial, still trying to get a little bit over the initial sock. I've gotten over most of it, but not all of it. So, um, yeah, there's a, there's just a whole lot. And also, like, for story-wise. We have a demon boy who's the hero, and in one of the trailers you see demons flying at the screen. So if I had to guess, this saga is going to take a heavy turn to a more demonic part. And which I guess it makes sense because, you know, since it's following more of the ending of the Ness saga, Ignis did say that um, if he can't become a god, he'll become, he'll become a demon and bring the world to nothing. They'll become a demon and bring the world to nothing. Become... Oh. Okay. Well. I'm sorry that my face is kind of motionless right now. I just kind of woke up. But, oh god. Oh god. Who else remembers the fact that Ignis said that he'll become a demon and return the world to nothing? Like in in the ending, and then we have demons that are roaming around in this new saga. Oh boy! <laughs> what? Hmm. You know, someone did mention to me what if Ignis is like the is in, is like the final boss in some other form. Um, this will be interesting. So, chances are the saga may deal with dragons and demons, but, ooh. oh god. <laughs> well guys, I got some thinking and looking into to do, because we just, Ignis just may be alive again, I don't know. Um, anyway guys, that's all the time I have for today at least. Um, I'll get back to you with probably another video today. Um, yeah, anyway guys, I love you all, take care, and you have a great day. Peace out, and see you soon.